rejoicing. Yes. Oh, just one, just one sinner that repented. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, I read in the Bible today where they were filled with the Holy Ghost in great joy. Great joy. There's great joy in serving Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, give me some.
as I was studying this here, a lot of places the Lord wanted me to go to. If you want to turn, you can turn. If you don't, you don't have to turn. But see, when we back up and read here in verse 12, he said, you're not straightening us, but you're straightening your own bowels. In other words, you are not restricted by us. But you are restricted in your own. Not trying to in your own afflictions. Come on. Alright. So when, when God began to deal with me on this. But it's all right for that way to get this. Amen. Come on. All right. Come on. And go over to, if you want to, it's 2 Corinthians 12 and 15. And I will very gladly speak and be spent for you, spend and be spent for you, though the more abundant I love you, the less I be loved. But be it so, I did not burden you, nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with God. Did I make a gain of you by any of them whom I sent unto you? I desired Titus. And with him I sent a brother. Did Titus make gain of you? Walk we not in the same spirit? Walk we not in the same steps? What that tell us, Lord, that we have got to walk in the same spirit. They have one spirit. He said, by one spirit are we all baptized in the one God. We're going to walk in the same steps. We're going to walk in the same path. There ain't no two or three different paths. There ain't no one path. Lord God, before it, it, 
the came on the inside of me, the Holy Ghost would teach me. The Holy Ghost would lead me. He was right there leading me, Brother Sam, until I got filled with the Holy Ghost. It'll still lead you. If you get around the Word of God, it is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And he believes that the, the Word is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. He said the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. They'll bring you out. You will come out if you eat the Word of God. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. I come prepared to take your brother now in the name that's above every day. And in that, it didn't matter if he wanted to go back home, it would have been all right. But when he chose, look here, I don't know about anybody else. It's just that was something tempting me. When he chose, what got to be right here, I'm going to when he chose to say and listen to the word of God and be in service, there was something going on that tipped inside me. We are to be excited to break somebody down in the name of Jesus. Yes. You want to tell me? They came out. They came out. I feel the Holy Ghost. They came out. That's the start. He said, for, for what fellowship has rushed with them? With unrighteousness. And what communion has light with darkness? Well, Brother Larry, where are you going to be here? In 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9 says, and we might do a little bit of reading, but we're going to obey God. He said, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idlers, nor adulterers, nor effeminates, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covets, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall it hurt the kingdom of God. Right. And such, this is right here. We think we get so high and mighty when we came out. But listen to what Paul said. He said, but such, and such were some of you. Right. But you are washed. Right. But you are sanctified. Yeah. But you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. Right. And by the spirit of our God. Right. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not exceeded. Right. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Yeah. Meats for the belly, yeah. and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Right. Now the body is not for fornication, nope. but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Yeah. And God hath both raised up the Lord, uh -huh. and will also bless you, Lord. Come on. Is that in there? It's in there. Yeah. And will also raise up us by his own power. Know you not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of a heart? God forbid. God forbid. Come out God forbid. He said, What? Know you not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two saith he shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Yes, come on. One spirit. Come on. Flee fornication. That's right. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committeth fornication submits sinneth against his own body. Yes, right. What? Come on. Bless you, Lord. Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you. Come on. Which you have of God. And you are not your own. That's right. Come on. Look over somebody and say, You ain't your own. Just yeah. Rachel, you ain't your own. Come on. And can, Brother Dallas can look at me and say, Brother Larry, you're not your own. Yeah. I'm not my own church. Lord God, you ain't your own. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. For ye are bought with a price. Yes. Yeah. This is what he said. He didn't stop her. He said, Therefore, glorify God in your body. And in your spirit, which are God's. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on. They're God's. Uh -huh. Come on. That's when he said, come out of her. Amen. Come out. Be a separate people. Amen. Amen. Don't do the things of the world. Amen. Say, I love Jesus. Right. If you love Jesus, and if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. When the Lord 
Lord stirs us up. A lot of times, you know, I was thinking about different ones said they want to be baptized. Come up through and I said, Lord, you said, preach, come out. Well, they might be somebody else come out and say, hey, I want to go down in the name of Jesus too. All you got to do is come out. Don't worry about what you're driving or what you're going to put on. I just came to I just look here. There's been times, Sister Rachel, that I have put, Lord God, have taken down the name of Jesus and didn't have extra clothes. But I went on, Lord God, and done what God said. Got too much planning. We need to come out and be a separate people. Don't worry about planning. Say, Lord, I'm going to come out. When the Holy Ghost is dealing with us, it's time to come out from among the Lord. He gave us a good way. Because he is the way. Listen to that. For you are bought with a price. This is powerful. When did he buy me? Come on. That's right. Come on. On the cross. Uh -huh. yes. When he shed his blood. Amen. He Come bought on. me. That's right. Paid him for. That's right. Amen. So my body and my spirit's his. That's right. I don't even know it. Come on. He bought me when I was a sinner. I just had to come to him. He already bought you when we was lost. What Paul said was for some of you. A lot of people don't understand that I was already bought. I just had to come to him and accept it. Say, Lord, I'm yours. I ain't the devil's no more. The devil just stole me. Don't you want to get away from the devil? Do you know what the devil's going to end up in a place that's called a lake of fire? Amen. That lake of fire, but the devil's going to prepare for us. But 
now are ye locked in the Lord. Walk as children of life. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. He says, we ain't got nothing to prove. You need to study your Bible. Amen. There's a lot talking about what you've got to prove unto the Lord. What's acceptable in His sight. Come on. What's going to be acceptable in His sight. If there's anything that was going to happen, they wouldn't have to work out the end of it. A cup of wrath going to be poured out. Right. Come on. Come on. People need to get in the Word of God and begin to study and find out. You know what they're doing? They're putting their own cup. If they'll study the Word, they'll pour it right in their own cup. And there's going to be a cup that's going to be poured out. Right. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Expose them. Yeah. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of the only in secret. Yeah. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. That's right. For whatsoever doeth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith the way thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. We're living in an evil time. Amen. I'm look here church. I'm talking about an evil time. Yeah. You can go to the Walmart, the malls and different places. Oh God I know I've been there and you can feel those evil spirits of walking around. If you've got the real genuine Holy Ghost, you can feel them evil spirits of walking around where you're at. Hello. So don't Come tell on. me the days ain't evil. Yeah. Come on. I feel homosexuality spirits forever. Lay eye contact. Uh, Ask my wife, I told her one day in Walmart. I said, I can feel a homosexual spirit coming. It's very close to me. And just a little while, it popped right in my face, Lord God, and it was homosexual. Just show us what my name is. Uh, oh. Eyes went to going all up and down. You tell me that ain't some evil spirit that wants to lay with a man? What kind of... We're living in an evil day. They wouldn't lay with a man, the woman with the woman. They're going to be destroyed one day. And it's not God's will to do it. But if they don't come out, they will end up in a place they should wish they would have never. Amen. They want to say, well, God loves everybody. God, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. He didn't come stop on. there. Come on. He didn't give his only begotten son. That's right. That we can see in every day. That's right. Come on. Come on. He said, he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Yeah. You gotta believe him. Yeah. Should not perish, yeah. but have everlasting life. Yeah. If you begin to believe in Jesus yeah. and do the work of Jesus and walk in the commandments of Jesus and go down in the name of Jesus, go by the race of the walk in Jesus, you're gonna have everlasting life. Yeah. Yeah. But it's time to come out. That's right. We're living in a world that don't want to come out. Right. A people that don't want to come out. Come they want to stay right next to him. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. I go to church. Sundays, Wednesdays, whenever they have it. Come on. But I'm going to do my own thing. Come on. Let me tell you something. I don't want to come home and go shoot God. Come on. Sister Lee, my home just won't allow me to do my own thing. Come on, man. Come on. The Bible says the flesh is enemy. Yeah. Against God. Yeah. It and the spirit is contrary to one another all the time. Yeah. So you know what you gotta do? You gotta listen to the spirit. Yeah. You've got to come out from above the world and say, hey, that's it, flesh, you're not doing that no more. Yeah. It don't matter what the devil wants you to do, you got to say, I'm not doing it no more. If God deals with you, it's time to come out and say, hey, I want to be separate.
Amen. Yes, Lord. It is like get him in a building. Start playing a pound cake with him. He said to preach the word. Right. Bless him, Lord. The days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine. Wherein is excess. But be filled with the Spirit. Don't be drunk on this world. It ain't just talk about wine you've got in a store and buy. You're going to get drunk on that, you don't need to be doing that either. Amen. I'm talking about that drink of the fornication, the filthiness of this world. They ain't drunk on the new wine. They're not drunk on the new genuine Holy Ghost wine. But they're drunk on the things of this world. And it's polluted them. They can't come to church when the doors is open. They can't do what God says. What about when, they, when he tries to speak to them? Speaks to them, they don't want Yourselves in songs and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Yes. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Yes. We ain't got no fear no more back in church. Come on. We need to get the fear back in church. Yes. Fear the men and women of God. Fear the Holy Ghost. Yes. Come on. I ain't no fear of the holiness no more. Come on. Come on. Man or woman of God says that the Holy Ghost move upon them. They don't even reverence. We should reverence a man or woman of God. The Holy Ghost move. We should, if, even if the kids are trying to be up loud or whatever, get them quiet down. Come on. God speaking. Come on. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. through here in just a little bit. Thank you. I got a little bake off. I ain't going to hold whipped. Come on. Verse 16 in 2 Corinthians where I started reading from. 2 Corinthians 6 and 16. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For you are the people of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. They shall be my people. So now, First Corinthians chapter 3, let me go here and read a couple of verses to you. 16 and 17. Now you know that ye are the temple of God, and the and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Yes. Come on. If any man divide, defile the temple of God, Come on. if he defiles it to destroy it, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, yes. which temple ye are. Which temple ye are. Yeah. Come on, That's why I say, be you holy, for I'm holy. Right. Holy, separate, consecrated. Consecra it's a set apart. Yeah. It's different from what this world is. Right. Yeah. Let me do my own stuff, but I still love Jesus. No, that ain't what Jesus said. On, he didn't say that you do your own stuff and you still love Jesus. Just about through. It's what the Lord laid on my heart. Look here. And I'm glad for everybody's here. If you don't know Jesus tonight, let me tell you. This is the best. I'm glad. I'm so glad you're here. Jesus is so glad you're here because he got an opportunity to speak to your ears. Amen. If you don't know him tonight, you know what I do? I sleep on my seat, Sister Rachel. I come down here's the best opportunity. The, the bathroom's already filled up. We can take it in.
in the name of Jesus. Lord God, it's time for us to come out from among the world and say, hey, I've heard this all my life. Lord God, I've heard it all my life. It's time for me to run to Jesus and get saved. Amen. Verse 17, wherefore come out of come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me go back here real quick, and we'll come right back here and I'll, uh, I'll get it finished up here. In Isaiah. 52. 11. Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing. Go you out of the midst of her, be you clean, that by the vessels of the Lord. If you're going to be the vessel and you say, I buy the vessel, he said, Depart ye, depart ye. Come out from her. Be a separate. We don't need to let the devil walk through and drop something down our vest. We need to go to God to depart from it. When he starts getting close to us, just get away from it. Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from it. All right. Moving on. I'm just listening to the Holy Ghost. Moving on. In verse 7 here, I mean chapter 7, sorry. Chapter 7, verse 1, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Perfecting is having all the required or desirable elements qualities or characteristics as good as it is possible to be. Precisely, accurate, exact. It's got to be highly suitable for someone as Jesus. Exactly right. So we can't do it some other way. Because when Jesus stood there and said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, it was his way. It's his truth. He is the life. So if we don't follow Jesus according to his word, and we haven't come out from among the world, do you know what's going to happen when you stand before him on judgment day? He's going to say, depart. You workers of iniquity, I never knew you. I know in one place I know you not. So you know what? That's today is the day of salvation. And I'm gonna go read, thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna read up here in Revelation 18. Finish up, but you need to think about that. Think about that highly suitable for someone exactly right. As perfected holiness in the fear of God. Revelation chapter 18. Revelation 18. We'll read six verses here, one through six. And after these things, I saw an angel. I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are watched rich through the abundance of her delicious delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven say, come out of her. Listen, come out of her. You people say, well, they're not in there. Yeah, they're in there because the Bible says they are. They're eating. They're drinking right along and I ain't talking about the we got to get the spirit church. I'm talking about the spiritual, the devil, the unclean spirits 
that's walking around there taking their eating of it. They think it's delicious. They think it's something good, but it's no good for us. And you get started in there, and then he says, come out of her, my people. That you be not partakers of her sins. That you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have wretched unto heaven. That's what he was talking about, what they was drinking. And God has remembered her iniquities. This is what he, the, if you don't come out of her, here's what's fixing to happen. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. The cup that she filled, filled to her double. So if we don't come out from among the world and stop drinking of the things of the world, I know it's not be tough, but I'm going to obey God. Because if I don't obey God, do you know what's going to happen? The devil tried even before we left the house today. He tried to start. You know what we got to do, Sister Rachel? We got to put a stop to it. No matter what, we got to, because somebody, we are trying to reach people, Brother Dallas, and somebody's got to put a stop to these things. So it's going to be up to you whether you came out. I'm glad to hear. That Earl started out. Amen. Come on. It came out and he's willing to take on the name of Jesus. Yeah, Come on. Come on. Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you. Come on, brother. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Right. What will we do to get a walk of street to God? That's right. Amen. What will we do to, Brother Dallas, to get somebody to walk of street to God? That's right. Come on. We should help one another. Uh -huh. If they need to be baptized, we should baptize. But they, and what God don't compromise, but say they even one way I baptize. And I didn't have to tell Sister Rachel, she knew that. The only way we baptize is in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let me believe that tonight. Amen. Amen. I'm looking for an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Yes. We've got to believe what the Bible says. He says you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Let's turn this back over to Sister Rachel. Let me tell you. After tonight, I didn't know everybody was, I knew I didn't buy this lot from the church. But I didn't know who all was going to be here. But I'm going to tell you. If you reject the call of God tonight, you don't want to come out. You may, look here, you may give your life to the Lord. There may be some situations that you're in. Right. And a lot of people don't even want God to even touch on. Yeah. Don't, even want to, don't even want to come down and preach this man. Come on. But God's going to give you a warning to say, you know what it is, get out of it. Come on. Right. Because everything, you know what the light will do? It'll manifest it. Yeah. It'll reprove it. It'll bring the light right on it and let you know. God's fixing to shine a light on and it's going to be revealed. Every secret thing is going to be shouted upon the housetop. I'm talking about it's going to be shouted from the housetop. God's going to reveal some things in these last days. The evil stuff that people's doing for the sin in their hearts. And God is fixing to do it. We can live the outward appearance all we want. And the outward's right. I'll preach it and I'll stand on it to the day I die. Until God calls me home. Because he said But inside they was black. They was black for the parents. We can't exceed the Pharisees. Right, sisters. What was the Pharisees? What was the end? I was just in the old roads. They dressed right. They done all this stuff right. We got to exceed that. You know what? It should be so easy for us. 
He gave us something. He gave us the Holy Ghost. You know what it does? All I've got to do is follow when he speaks. It's got to follow the situation. That last straight and narrow. It ain't, he may not be talking about a straight line. But it may be crooked. It's a very narrow place. There's very few for the Jeff that get on it. They don't want to walk on Why? But there's a Broadway. We need to get off Broadway. Say goodbye, Broadway. Hello, Jesus. I'm coming out from among the world. I want to be separate. Amen. Broadway's going to take you to hell. Yeah. That narrow place. That narrow place will lead us to Jesus. Come on. It'll lead us to eternal life. Come on. With Jesus. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to go ahead and say this here. Eternal life's waiting on every one of us. Amen. But it's up to you where you want to go to. Amen. Right. He said it's going to be in a place that's a fire, Brother Jeff, where the fire is never quenched. In other words, it ain't cooled down there. And the worm dies not. Who's the worm? Right. Come on, man. It's what lives on the inside here. Come on. There's a soul yeah. that lives on the inside of every one of us. This flesh will probably just come off. It'll be gone. That's how hard to be. Mailed it. You ever talk about cremation? Yeah. It'll be quicker than that. The fire of God's got it. It'll be quicker than that. Yes, sir. That soul is going to squirm. It's going to scream. It's going to bite. It's going to be waving. It's going to be gnashing of teeth. Why? Because they did not choose Jesus. And they did not want to come out and say, I want to be separate. They, they kept right on going in their own ways. They love to fornicate with the devil. That's what's I ain't talking about going out here. You shouldn't be doing that land with another man or woman anyway. But I'm talking about your fornicating with the devil. You're you're laying with him. Glory to God, five days a week they're coming to church too. Jesus ain't no two time here. He's gonna have you all the time. He ain't gonna have you part time. He wants you all the time. You're gonna be married to him or you are married to the devil. This world's full of them. Full of the devil, Sister Rachel. And I'm sure you've been in places. Holy Ghost is rising up in you. Holy Ghost is going to mean something. And, and the difference is what times don't go in this place. Don't go that way. What? Do we listen to it or do we keep on going for trouble? Come on. A lot of people we walk right into it with a house and start praying. Lord, he said, well, I tried to warn you 10 minutes ago. You kept going. I love you. Jesus loves you. This altar right here, and I know I can say this for sister, this altar is always up. Always up. Don't have to be church service. Come on. Come on. Get up and make that your altar. That's right. Make that your altar. Say, that's mine. Uh-huh. Right. When I come over here, it's mine. Amen. You come down Woodfield, Community Gospel Church of Jesus, it should be yours. Amen. If you come from here, come down out, that altar should be yours. Amen. You should have an altar at home. Uh-huh. Come on. I got an altar in my vehicle, I got an altar inside of it. Yeah. If you have it, I got an altar inside of it. Time down the road, I've had to pull over, getting beside myself in the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. Come on. We should have that altar in us. That's right. All right, it's just a horn. Amen. We'll figure it out in a minute. People need to be born again. When we get ready to take one down, Come on. I know there's going to be more than one. There's others. When you go down, I've been, I've been down several times. Huh? So what for? Because the Lord said to him. Don't worry about what man thinks about me. But what he do, he see it. No, the Lord just said Go down the name of Jesus again. I just go down. I don't know about anybody else, but I just keep on doing what the Holy Ghost says. Amen. If you do what the Holy Ghost says, you ain't going to go wrong. Amen. Come on. Because he said he'd lead and guide you to what? All through. 
I'll prove it. So I'm going to get back to Sister Rachel if they want to say something. But here, this altar's up. Why don't you come tonight? If you need to pray, why don't you come? Let's, let's get somebody saved. Let's get somebody saved. Come on. This all is up. Somebody needs Jesus tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody needs Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God didn't send this message just for you to sit on your seat. Right. Come on. Thank you. He sent this message that you could come out and be a separate people. Thank you, Jesus. His people separate. His people's clean. Yes, Lord. His people's holy. Yes. So right here it is. Yes. It's going to be up to you. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Jesus is a perfect gentleman. Perfect gentleman. Yes. He don't go back and kick you out the aisle and kick you in the seat. But he will come back and say, how you want to pray? In the spirit, he'll ask you. He'll knock right there and say, how you want to pray? Stand up his hand. Man. I love you. That's Jesus. I love you. Why can't we just cut? I've already heard the brothers who pray. Confess. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't this what the Bible says? Yeah. With the mouth of confession is what? It's made into salvation. That's deliverance. So either we can believe the word or we don't believe the word. And I can I can feel judgment right now. Let me tell you something. I know what I believe. I don't want to stand on. The word. I'm gonna stand on the word. And I'm gonna leave my heart. Bible says it plays helps. Did you not ask for help? And the Holy Ghost said, "When somebody asks, if you got the right spirit, you want the Holy Ghost to do." You do everything that you can to help somebody. Church, what if it was yours? Flip that. I'm just finding the Lord right now. This altar right here is what we need to be. Anytime y'all want to say, go ahead and say.
came in the room was singing, I won't have to worry anymore. And truly, when we leave here and we're saved and born again, we won't have to worry no more. Amen. I don't know if we can remember it or not, but I'm going to try to sing a little bit. Of it. Maybe Earl, give him that mic over there, Sharon. Maybe he can help. Maybe he can help me sing. I thank God to hear him in some time. Give me C, maybe. Well, I won't have to worry. What's your name?
all going to face judgment. Every one of them. Scripture says it's appointed that the man wants to die. And after this, the judge. These are my two brothers here tonight. Brother Mackey, he preached the gospel. And he's lived right for many, many years. He built his church and it worked on the mines. And he worked in the church for, it took him about two years to get it to where we could have church in. But you know what? We're all fading away. We're all deteriorating. The Bible says we're like a flower. And when we fade away. And you that are in your right mind tonight that you're here. And you're not saved. You ought to, you ought to run to the altar tonight. You ought to beg God to forgive you and accept you. That you can go to a place called heaven and each other. That awful place called hell. Tonight you're probably able to bend down and pray. But there might come a time that you're not going to be able to do that. Hallelujah. We don't know, Brother J.R., what's the face in this. Hallelujah. And we don't know what's going on in these bodies that we got. Hallelujah. I believe it was about two weeks ago when Earl got sick, took him to the hospital just to find out he's got cancer and just about everywhere in his body. But you know what? I know a God that's able to heal. That's the most important thing. Let me tell you, children, the most important thing is not getting that body healed. It's getting that soul ready to be seen. That's the most important thing. Because this old body's going back to the dust. The only thing that's going to matter are you saved? Are you saved? You're either going to hear Jesus say, Enter in thy good and faithful servant, or you're going to sit here and say, Depart from I don't know ye, and enter into the place called heaven. And I praise God tonight for salvation. Thank God for my brothers tonight. Thank God for your intervention and prayer. Hallelujah, Brother Blackie. We ain't home yet, but we're on the way. I won't shine down on my eyes. And we want to help everybody we can. Hallelujah. Can you say that amen? Yeah. We got some that wants to be baptized tonight. I think Darius and Angelica, they still here. They're going to get baptized. Maybe Sister Stephanie's going to get baptized. Earl's going to get baptized. If you men get ready so we can get them there because I know they're sick. Some of them are sick and they need to. They need to get baptized.